Welcome. Today we're going to show the new uh, histogram component control that we've just added to Tin Man Real Time version 2.1. Uh, 2.1 is scheduled for release this coming week. Uh, we have some betas out there. And if you're interested, just shoot me an email, uh, support at tinmansystems.com. Uh, but essentially what we're looking at here is the live histogram control. So this is not the line chart. We've had that for a while in the column chart. We've just done the histogram. And what a histogram does is, as, uh, is, is quite obvious. It counts the number of observations of a particular ranged data value uh, across a range of values. And you can see here we've got three of them on the screen, and they're easy to move around and resize and everything. Um, and I've got some different colors here just to uh, show some of the flexibility and different ranging number of bins. We have 50 in this one. We have 25 here. and looks like we have 15 bins over here on the example one. And um, what we have, we're running in demo mode right now. And, uh, but these are really easy to use, and they're very flexible, quite powerful. Um, and what you would do is hook these up to your live sensor data and your external systems, or if you're reading from a CSV file. So you still can uh, bring in a new UDP source, a new COM source or serial port, or a CSV file source. Um, and any one of these would uh, you can uh, assign to uh, histograms. And they're very simple to add to the screen. Um, if we just add a new tab to the uh, uh, display here and we just drop a histogram, you can see they're, they're pretty versatile. And just move them around and then resize them. Uh, and then when you want to, um, let's go ahead and stop, uh, go in and modify them, you go into the properties dialog box. And this is where you'd specify the data source, select a sensor from the source and a data element, and you specify all of the various parameters. And you have pretty much uh, complete control over the appearance, the sizing, uh, and the detail around the representation of data within the histogram. Uh, and this is live data, so this is data that's accumulated from a system. And in fact, if I bring in a, um, a new project, let's go ahead and uh, bring in a, an Android device project. Uh, so uh, what I have here is uh, just an Android device. I'm just going to run this right now, and uh, we'll go ahead and start sending data. Uh, so this is an a Android cell phone. We're sending accelerometer, gyro, and magnetometer data. And uh, I'm just moving it around in my hand. I'm turning it left and right and going up and down and left and right and forward and backward. Uh, and I'm also turning the phone in different orientations. And so you can see how the system is responsive to uh, those movements. And so what we're looking at here is the flow of data here uh, from the uh, UDP port 12345. We have an aviation control. We have a stack, con uh, stack values control. That's this one here. Uh, for the magnetometer, stack values for gyro and accelerometer. They just basically peel out all the data elements from that particular sensor and represent them. Um, here we have a column chart uh, for accelerometer, gyro, and magnetometer, and below them we have the uh, linear line chart. But what I'm going to do is uh, let's move one of these guys out of the way, and let's go ahead and we can see that the gyro, is, the y value is you know, between minus 50 and 50, and uh, what I want to do is just add a histogram to the screen. And so we'll move this guy over. And um, uh, you can move the whole screen if you'd like, but let's just do this one. Uh, we'll double click. Let's stop here for a second. Let's double click and choose the Android gyro uh, Y value. And now let's set the ranges for minus 50 to 50. And uh, number of bins. Let's give it some granularity. Let's go up to uh, let's go up to 20 bins, and let's show the maximum value of the bin. Let's leave the precision at zero, and let's go ahead and click OK, and let's start the phone again. All right, and so you can see how responsive the histogram is, and it's basically just plotting the number of instances as we go. If I go at zero, we'll see the zero. Uh, well, the close to the one. There we are. That's that range here. Let's get this a little bit bigger. And so now if I go into the, uh, we're watching this one here, go into the uh, 30 range, we can see that one going up. That's the number of instances at that level. And so this is an excellent way to track real-time data. Now this might be the, not be the most appropriate chart for gyro data, but if you're tracking the accuracy or the consistency of a particular sensor data value, then the uh, histogram controls are a significant uh, uh, helpful uh, component to plot your data. And just to summarize, uh, Tin Man Real Time reads three types of data sources. 
Um, UDP data uh, could be local, remote, wired, or wireless. A common serial port data uh, that's virtual or physical ports. And there's no limit to the number of simultaneous data sources. Um, and also CSV data files. So you can have a static uh, data file that uh, you're reading from. Uh, and in other words, as a sensor data log that you've pre-recorded, uh, you can replay at whatever sample rate you need to uh, to uh, revisit that um, real live experience with those sensors and uh, and do whatever processing you need to do. Uh, but just to, in, in summary on the connection types, um, if you think about those kinds of data delivery models, um, you can connect with nearly any type of device. It could be a software-based system or virtual system, or it could be an external drone, uh, smart car, uh, appliance, uh, major building or bridge or what have you. And so connecting with these devices is um, uh, without limit because you can, you're dealing with wireless uh, sensor data and remote data or internet data. Um, so the connectivity is pretty expansive. Uh, but just to kind of review some usage models here, you've got, um, if, let's say we have a drone, we can use Tin Man Real-Time simply, simply to view the sensor data. Uh, we can also send commands back to the drone so we can create some custom commands and have a uh, manual command interface uh, with Tin Man real time. So you have sensor data visualization and manual system control. In addition, uh, we can add AI Builder in there for intelligent live control. So we take this model, this communication model, and uh, implement what we call real time intelligent systems design and integrate AI Builder. And in that case, we add this third high value usage model where you're not just uh, viewing live sensor data and sending commands back, perhaps manually, uh, but you're actually forwarding on automatically on the same system that live sensor data 30 to 50 or 100 times a second to uh, AI Builder. And the autonomous system that you're developing, you can view live uh, as it's making its decisions. And it sends those commands or those decisions back to real time, which max the, maps those to commands that are sent out to the system. And so those are essentially the ways that you can use real time. Uh, but what we just showed here uh, with the new histogram control is just simply the, the live sensor data. And so that was just this model here. But that can be any microcontroller platform. Uh, we were using a cell phone in that case. All right. Thank you very much.